What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 10. This is the season finale episode. Um, I am super glad that we were able to do 10 episodes sharing some different topics in the music from, you know, a 2021 studio tour to film film scoring to some other advice there. I can't remember. But today's episode, I'm going to talk about um, songwriting with an artist and what approach I take. And I hope that this helps you as as a young or old music producer. Um, and so, yes, I like to take the approach, the old school approach. And sometimes I like to take the new school approach where everything is done, you know, um, in computer and, you know, you save as, you title it, and you just go on with your life. But sometimes um, when you work with a group of people, like I want to use a, a, an, a, an example of a project that I was a part of a few years ago. And, you know, it was a collaboration, uh, like two, two or three arrangers. And I was basically the more uh, musician out of the, the group. So I really wanted to to make sure that the input of the person writing the lyrics and the melody and the input of the person that was um, co-arranging alongside with me, all the ideas would get, you know, written out. Um, and so what I usually do is I would write it out. So, yeah, the paper is not, is not filled out from you know from top to, to from top to bottom but basically you know i would write these chords i would write you know anything that's um important in the song you know i would put the key signature i would put the tempo um the title and i would just write the chords out repeating twice the hook the second third verse because this allows me when i go to my daw i can rely on this and so you know, communication is all here because this is what, you know, um, what we all agree upon when we were writing. So, you know, these are other, you know, when you work in the same album, you tend to just keep everything in order. So these are basically what I would do. It's chicken scratch, um, you know, put some pre-chorus and um, some signs plus to plus. It's like a map that you draw out first, second ending. And so, what this allows you to do is this allows you to go and record each instrument and orchestrate according to what you know everyone everyone's idea so you get a paper you write chords you know write write the melody um you see like over here it's an important important part of the melody so this was very important for the song because it's going to repeat a few times throughout the song and um, so then I would go to the DAW and I would just, I would, you know, let it out. Um, you know, so I would highly recommend when you're arranging with people, with even yourself, you just, you could get a book, a score, a score book like this, because you can write at least, you could at least write like two songs in one page. So typically when I'm writing for myself, um, I would dedicate I would uh, dedicate one page to to a song. So this was a project that I was doing, um, and I wrote out the melody. So whatever ideas I had, I would write it out. Um, this is also something else, another melody. So this is a whole different project. So, you know, even though it's not filled out from top to bottom, the most important part is the starting process. You know, and sometimes you could, when you go to the doll, you could be so deep into recording and layering sounds and you just forget about writing the rest but at least the 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 start melody is there um and so yeah so a book like this you can get on amazon huge book you could you know one song two songs three songs or a whole song you know what i mean so th that's how i write music um as of late i really haven't i had there was really no time for me to sit down and write um, because of so many projects happening. And so what happens with so many projects happening, 
um, I actually have to just record the ideas, you know, straightforward, you know, I'm opposed to writing it. Um, and this is because I am scoring uh, two to three film projects and they're all different um, job descriptions. I'm doing sound design for one. Um, I, I am um, the lead composer for the, the, well, the only composer for another one that's actually doing, you know, all the orchestrations and sound design too. So, and then another one where I'm working with some music publishers for, for um, film and TV music. Um, and, uh, and apart from that, you have the, the regular modern music recordings for, for singers and stuff like that. So I barely have time to, um, to sit down and write melodies. Um, so everything has to be written, you know, in the computer. So, you know, you, you have those moments where, you know, for, for the example that I used from that recording from a few years ago, um, I actually sat down in a room. I dedicated, you know, basically a whole day to, to be with them and to write and to arrange. And so I had the time to erase and write everybody's thoughts and everybody's ideas, which allowed me to come back to my produ to my production setup and, and, and produce um, the musical parts and then send it back out for, for, for production purposes. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically it. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, short vlog um, for songwriting and writing music. Um, I, I, I am going to do a season two. Um, I have no idea when I will release it, but this is the 10th episode. If you watched it to this point, comment below on the comment section. Put Let's Talk Ant 10. If you put Let's Talk and 10, you have a chance to win an Amazon gift card. Okay, so let me see your comments. Um, don't forget to press the notification bell so that you guys can stay up to date with all of my um, videos that, that will be posted to YouTube. And the Let's Talk and Season 1 is basically a test, testing the waters to see if there's any, you know, positive outcome and, and, and good engagements. You know, everything is about algorithm here in, in youtube and so it's difficult to get things going but we're going to try to be persistent and and move forward with forward with our um vlogging for let's talk and so thank you guys so much for watching episode one through nine and through now ten um it, it really means a lot if you guys can go back to these episodes comment like it within youtube and share it you know whatever topics seem relative um, relevant to you and and you can relate to share it comment and help out a brother here to be successful here on youtube all right guys thank you so much for watching see you guys at season two peace